In the last video, we looked at scatter plots. Now we're going to look at line plots. So I've created a directory here for line plots, and I created this Python file, basic line plots. First thing you want to do is import the libraries you're going to use at the top of the file. Import pandas just in case. We may not use it in this particular file. So let's call this basic plot. You know, that's a variable name for what we're trying to plot using the plot the express. So we're going to use the line function. And let's just, you know, have something very basic. Specify what our x would be as a list. Specify what our y will be as a list, you know. Okay, so the list will be, okay, this is just an example, so you can get the concept. Okay. And we can give it a title. So the title is going to be basic line plots. Okay. All right, let's run it. Yeah, and there you have it. This is your basic line plot using Plotly Express. And of course, you know, this is really basic. <laughs> so we can then see how we can create something a bit more complex, a bit more um, interesting. Okay, let's create a new file under line plots. And this time we're going to use stock data. Let's say stock line plots okay as usual we import plotly express we import pandas so that we can pass in our data let's call this stock plot that's going to be the name of our plot but let's comment that out for now so let's import our data so this is the data file we want all stocks five years csv so let's call it stocks data frame quite so we read use the read csv function and we supply the parts. So let's run the file, see if so we have the dates, we have the open, high, low, close, and we have the volume. We also have the name of the company. So let's say we want to just we just want a plot for a particular company. So let's say we want to plot just Apple stocks. Let's say Apple is going to be stocks at a frame where the name. Is it goes to APL. So let's assume we just want to plot only for Apple. Let's say we want, we've indexed the data frame. We've said, okay, only show us where the name is Apple. In that case, what we need to do is just use this simplified data set over here. So say PX, gonna use the line chart. 
do we want as our x? We want the x to be the date. We want our y to be, let's say, um, want open. We want to give it a title. Apple stock open prices. Very simple, very basic. Let's call this Apple stock data plot to be straightforward. Okay, so for this. I use the show method. Let's also supply the data frame name. In this case, I want to specify the data frame, and that is in this case it's Apple. Let's run. And you can see it's very easily here. So this is just a line chart which shows the Apple stock price change across the different time periods. You know, zoom into different time chunks and see what the value is. Of course, we can zoom out. We can decide to save it as a PNG. Lots of cool stuff we can do with this. Now let's in this case, you notice we had to single out one stock, which is Apple, which we did using this function. It means the pandas um, approach of filtering a data set. What if instead we wanted to visualize all the stock prices using Plotly? So how do we do it? I'll show you that. So we can come here, say all stocks line plot as usual the first thing is you want to import the libraries so we're going to import plot the express since we're going to be using the csv data set we can import pandas okay now what do we have here so let's get this data set. Let's just copy this. We can copy this as well. Okay. So we have this here. Let's now call, let's give a name to our chat, all stock prices. Let's give it a name. What do we, what do we want to call it? We can say, on all stock prices, we're going to use Plotly Express. It's a line chart. In this case, since we already have the data frame, we can specify that. And that's the stocks data frame. Specify what the x axis would be. Want the x axis to be the date. On the y axis to be in this case, let's see maybe the high, the high prices over the entire period. And we also want a case where every single point is a company, where every single line, every single company is represented by a line. So we're going to use name. Okay, so let's call this. We give the color variable. Specify it as name. Okay, let's give it a title as well. Um, let's 
line plot of stock high prices over time. Move this down here so you can see clearly. Yes. And now let's all stock prices. Now this is going to take some time to run just because of the sheer magnitude of the data set. But eventually we should see something interesting. So let's run it and wait for the result. And there you have it. This is the result of this piece of code. Okay, let me expand this. So this just shows the different stock prices and their high value. And you can see it's a bit of <laughs> it's a bit of a mess down here. But why I like Plotly Express is you can easily select what you want to see. So let's say I want to see Apple. Can they select the rest? Okay. Now we can add, let's say, Apple. If we don't want this, we can deselect that. Let's add, let's add Microsoft. I can see that. Yeah, so you can see Plotly also allows you to filter through your data set, and that's really awesome. Let's just take this out. And yeah, once you go over the points, you can see how it changes over time. Same for the lower chart. Now, this is really cool, and this is really awesome. And all of this was done with just this simple line of code over here that's really impressive so of course when you check the documentation for plotly express line charts there are much more parameters that can be set up but this is the easiest way for you to get you know into making scatter plots using plotly express this is the easiest way to get to make simple line plots using plotly express so we looked over a case of just a simple line charts and we've looked over a case where there are multiple line charts. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And you can watch some other content on this channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.